with allegedly 12 million players and posts like this from JJ Watt, a 5 million follower account and the top pinnacle of NFL, there is definitely the question of, is disc golf finally becoming mainstream? Let's talk about it. I'm really gonna do something with these three months. Like what? I'm going to play golf. You mean golf? Golf! Frisbee golf, Jerry! Golf with a Frisbee! Golf? Yeah. You know, we need a fourth for the back nine. You want it? Yeah, sure. So right off the bat, I think it was very clear that there's two different subsects of disc golf, especially when it comes to celebrities, because it is so often the case that there's like a picture of someone playing disc golf that's reasonably famous. And while they may actually play disc golf a lot, you really just don't know because we're not creepers, we don't follow their personal life, and they pretty much never have PDJ numbers, pretty low key about everything, which they have to be as a celebrity. So right off the bat, looking at some of the big, big names. We obviously know the uh, huge ambassadors of the sport, Ben Askren, extremely famous UFC fighter, probably the biggest advocate of the sport. He has had a lot of events and videos pop up around the disc golf world, and he routinely advocates for the sport. Definitely a huge ambassador of the sport. And then in that realm where it kind of feels like it's like adjacent to disc golf, we have the ball golfers, Bubba Watson, we have Bryson DeChambeau. Obviously these players are huge names in the golf world, but me particularly, I'm not a huge fan of ball golf. And while I do think it is super cool to see these top pros playing disc golf. I don't think they have as much stickiness to the common folk that a JJ Watt or Ben Askren does have because they're a lot more niche and the amount of people following actual ball golf is not that much when you consider uh, mainstream celebrities. And then for some players that you probably would not have guessed, Paul Walker was actually a pretty avid disc golfer. Uh, he doesn't really play anymore. Uh, Matthew Perry also was apparently like a huge disc golfer and there was some pictures and posts about how he's still playing the game, but uh, he also doesn't really play much anymore. And then somebody that you probably would not have guessed, Aaron Rodgers actually does play a bit of disc golf, but he is kind of concerned with other stuff like losing lots of NFL games on the Jets. But also kind of intriguing is that he dated Danica Patrick, the uh, female NASCAR driver. And there was actually this video, which makes no sense in my head, but there was a NASCAR promo event where they're putting and Danica is putting. Not the best form, but I'm also just so confused why this is a press event. But hey, it's more more exposure on the sports. So you really can't be uh, complaining too much there. And then we have those like obscure stars that I'm sure you know about. We have Tormund and the Mountain. Um, I'm betting that they do not play that avidly, but they do have some amount of press coverage where they are playing disc golf. So you definitely have to love any exposure. And I've seen a good amount of interviews, which is also very, very intriguing because this goes a step further. You're not just taking a post for Instagram where you're playing disc golf. You're actually talking in depth about your experience and kind of know-how about the sport. So there was an interview with Tycho. You probably don't know too much about him, but he is a semi-famous electronic artist and he did a full interview with All Two World. That was definitely intriguing because this is truly a person that does play disc golf. It is not just a one-time event. I think he mentioned that he's been playing since like 2012. And along with Ben Askren, we have Dylan Cease, who obviously I'm betting you know about because he purchased Throwdown Mountain with Paul McBeth and he's actually been playing disc golf a long time. He has a couple of videos with Paul, definitely a lot more than just an MLB player, but it is super cool to see that a truly mainstream stream athlete is still advocating for the sport year after year. Then we have celebrity cook Andrew Zimmern, who has actually filmed a decent amount of videos with Gatekeeper Media. And it was kind of hilarious to watch his in the bag because you can tell he's just kind of an old dude that is just loving the sport. And there's truly no amount of clout he's trying to get from being a disc golfer. There's clearly a lot more than just an Instagram post about disc golf. So even though we recently just got a post from a 5 million follower account on Instagram, JJ Watt, obviously a huge NFL player that just retired. So he probably does have a lot more time to play stuff like disc golf. Still definitely seen in the mainstream eye, I would say, as a pretty niche sport that not that many people know about. I think a very good test is like, does your grandma know about the sport? And I'm betting for the majority of people, if they ask their grandparents about, hey, do you know disc golf? The answer is gonna be hard no, hard no. Um, but that's not to say that disc golf is not worth uh, still trying to become mainstream. I think there are so many positives that come in the sport. And I truly think it's one of those sports that the more you play and the more you get involved in the community, it is truly a gem in society and often a beacon for positive self-growth because especially for me, I'm playing some solo rounds and I'm just kind of like, it's, it's my form of meditation. I feel like I'm improving a lot as a person because I'm just kind of thinking about stuff while I play, I'm out in nature, getting some exercise, and it's just altogether a positive experience. So I truly think disc golf is worth it to push again and again to basically everyone you know. But obviously if you're watching this, you're probably just as obsessed as I am with disc golf. So I'm kind of talking to a crowd that is already well aware of the positives. I kind of have to convince everyone that's not in this crowd that disc golf is worth trying. But overall, I think just the general outlook about disc golf is still definitely not mainstream. But I do think we're on the right trajectory. I do think if we got 
a player, even though Aaron Rodgers is huge, but there was so little I could actually find about him other than just like a picture or like some posts where they saw Aaron Rodgers playing. Like that's pretty much all we got. As a Kansas City native, if we could get a Patrick Mahomes and potentially a Travis Kelsey collab on a Kansas City course, like say Waterworks, man, oh man, I think this would finally get to the point where disc golf is a mainstream sport. We get some Jomez coverage of the entire round. Oh my goodness, that would be such a good positive impact on the sport. But for now, that is not the world we live in. But we do still have JJ Watt and TJ Watt posting their disc golf experiences last week, which is awesome. Love to see it. But man, a truly current mainstream athlete playing disc golf and more than that, just speaking about the sport would do so much wonders. And I truly think it would put disc golf in a new realm that it currently does not sit in. I often wonder if we will ever get that uh, Ninja and Drake collab. If you are not familiar, you probably know Ninja. He's a top gaming streamer that uh, has multi, multi million dollar contracts for streaming. And he had a huge collab with Drake where he had 628,000 concurrent viewers and it truly catapulted Ninja, obviously, but also streaming games in the limelight. And so many streamers were spawned off that. And obviously a lot of people know streaming before that, but getting a huge mainstream person like Drake to promote streaming Fortnite catapulted the entire industry. And if we could ever get something like a Patrick Mahomes to catapult disc golf, I do think it would work wonders for the amount of sponsorships we see, the amount of player growth, and the overall exposure of the sport. But I do still say that while I would love that to happen, I do like that the sport of disc golf is still a pretty low-key endeavor. There is very rarely courses where I'm just like totally swamped with other players. I usually can play most rounds without having to worry about backups because it is still a pretty low-key sport. And we are in that sweet spot where there's still so many courses that are being developed that you can go to one or the other and not have to worry about driving too far for the most part and not have to worry about the course being too busy. So it really is the best of both worlds, I think right now, but it still would be awesome to see if we could ever get disc golf to become a mainstream sport. With that, what do you guys think? I'd love to hear about it. I apologize if this video was a little bit all over the place and I was not totally sure how to uh, put all this stuff together, but thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Wild Runs, signing out. Peace.